All right, now, Mellow Yellow here. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've done a video, you know, with all that's going on. But my, 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 the Internet has done it again. First, it was those Popeye's chicken sandwiches. You remember folks getting stabbed in the parking lots over a place in line and tearing up the side of their cars just to get through the, to the drive throughs and stuff. And when I finally got a taste of what all the hype was about, it was just a regular chicken sandwich. Now, with this coronavirus epidemic, we got folks going all out at the supermarkets, buying up all the toilet paper, buying up all the water like some apocalypse just took place, rolling around in carts with like 10 gallons of milk jugs that are probably going to expire next week. I mean, are you really going to drink all that before they expire? This shit is hilarious. And that's why I stay posting memes about it in my stories. Then you got the conspiracy theorists, particularly from the black community, talking about this was a biological weapon that backfired. <laughs> Do you remember when Umar Johnson tried to say that Kobe was murdered by the big pharma companies over the use of the name Black Mamba? These niggas make me giggle. <laughs> now, let me say this. This is not a manufactured disease. This is just another result of China's poorly managed and unsanitary wet markets. Now, if you didn't know, when the SARS virus broke out in 2003, that was pinpointed directly to those wet markets. For those of you who are unaware, China's wildlife harvesting markets are constantly cross-contaminated with animals in which that intermixing of the different species together in the same cages for slaughtering and all that sharing of blood, fecal matter, urine, and whatnot is what creates these outbreaks. Now, during that very outbreak of the SARS virus in 2003, China had suspended its wet market programs. You know, we thought it was halted. However, after the virus was contained, they eventually restored it to reboost their economy because there's a lot of money in those wildlife wet markets. Now, because of their hard heads and greed, a new disease has developed. And what made things as bad as they are now is that they covered it up. They tried to cover it up, which allowed it to spread worldwide. In fact, Dr. Li Wenliang of Wuhan, China, blew the whistle last year about this infection after examining patients from the Huanan seafood markets who got sick. He even posted about the potential of an outbreak on social media after contracting the virus himself. But the Chinese government had him sequestered for supposedly spreading false rumors. Meanwhile, the shit continued to spread. That doctor just died from the disease last month. China is the reason for all this, not our government. China's greed, irresponsibility, and poor management is what has brought us to this point. So please, stop believing everything you hear and see on the internet. Y'all are killing me with this nonsense. On another note, I was at the supermarket the other day and I saw an old lady there. Assuming she was about 80-something years old, I said, be safe, mama. And she said, I ain't worried about nothing. Jesus got me. Okay. I wanted so bad to say, don't be silly, Grandma. Go home. I mean, I admire the faith, but faith like that can only be applied when it is appropriate. Because seriously, if someone with the virus was to come in contact with her, she'd catch it. And because of her age, it might even kill her. So we need to be smart, not silly. Don't let religion get you caught up. And y'all so-called Christians can come down on me if you want to. But I'll tell you what, go stand in the middle of the traffic on the freeway and say, Jesus got me. Do it. Watch what happens. It's like those atheists. You know, ask an atheist to stand in front of a mirror and say, Bloody Mary or Candyman three times. They can't. And they won't. Because even though they don't believe in that sort of stuff, that shit is just as risky for them as it is to some of us. Anyway, have y'all seen the stock market lately? Uber and Lyft's stocks, which typically average, typically average between $30 and $40 a share, closed at $14 and $16 today. Nike, which averages around $100 a share, closed at $68. Beyond Meat, which peaked at a valuation of $200 last year, closed at $54. I can go on and on. Look at here. COVID-19 is not here to stay. And at some point, these falling shares will rise again. So while most of y'all out there panicking and buying up all the toilet paper and shit, I'm about to buy some of these low-priced stocks. 
Go ahead and keep your endless lifetime supplies of toilet paper while I get ready to watch my money grow long. There is a reason why they say the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Poor folks who say this, they want you to believe that there's a design to keep you poor. But the truth is we all have the opportunity to excel in our lifetimes just like anyone else. It's all about the mindset. Now, I know that most of us don't know him because of it. You know, most of us can't pass the information down like other communities and certain classes do with their young. But we are in this age where information of any kind is right at your fingertips. Therefore, ignorance today is a choice. When the rich come across money, they know what to do with it. When poor folks get money, like from tax refunds and such, they get overexcited, think they're rich, and blow it away just as quickly as they got it. Look, I'm not rich, but I can say that I am comfortable. And I say that to say this. There's an opportunity in every demise. You just got to keep your eyes wide open for it, see it, and seize it. And in this case, it ain't the toilet paper.